Hello everybody and today in this video I'm basically going to show you how to get your Baofang, Bofang, however you like to pronounce it, to talk to a normal walkie-talkie using the PM, PMRS frequencies, the PMRS446 frequencies. Now, just a disclaimer, if you were to use one of these on the PMRS frequency, it is legal, illegal to do so. So this whole video is for educational purposes only. So first off, before anything, obviously you've got your two radios there, so we need to be able to program them. So the first thing you're going to need is a cable like this. So what this is, is this is just a programming cable. <coughs> you're also going to need a computer, as you can see, and you need to download something called Chirp, which I'll leave in the description. And also you need to know the exact model number for the walkie-talkies that you're trying to communicate to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Baofang and we're going to program the PMRS frequencies into it onto the channels saved. So we're going to move to the computer and do that now. All I'm going to do to connect it to the computer <coughs> is open these ports, take said cable and plug in, make sure it seats tightly. And then we're just going to plug this straight into the computer like so. So right now we've got the Chirp software open. I'll leave the link in the description if you don't already have this. It is free to download, so don't let anywhere charge you for it. I have seen reports online of people being scammed into paying for this. It's free software. It's open source. You can just leave a donation if you want to. So as you've seen on the other video, we had the radio off. The USB port was plugged into the radio. So all I'm going to do is plug the USB port into the computer but it attached to the radio. Make sure the connector on the radio side is pushed in all the way because sometimes it doesn't do that and if it doesn't do that, the computer won't detect the radio. So all we're going to do is turn it on. Now I've twisted the sound volume to 100%. This is so that basically it notices it on the computer. So we're going to hit radio, download from radio. Now this is the important bit. So it's going to ask you for the port that you use. So we're using COM5. If you don't know, you may have to unplug some USB ports um, that you've got all the stuff plugged into, but usually it does recognise it. Then what we're going to do is the vendor is Baofang. This is a drop-down list, so if it's on something different, hit Baofang. And then we're going to use the model. So for me, it is the UV5R. This comes up. It's just basically to say that the UV5R is not supported officially, so if you mess the radio up, it's your fault. So we're just going to hit OK on that. And then we're going to hit OK again. So now you can see it's cloning from the radio. Your radio will start flashing the red light. Don't worry, just don't unplug anything until this has been completed. And then once it's been cloned, the radio, in theory, is disconnected from the USB, but I would recommend leaving it connected. Just make sure the transmission is not being used. So as you can see, we are now on the home screen. So this is exactly what is saved on the memories of my radio. And if you were to go into the settings, you can change the squelch settings, battery saver mode, blah, blah, blah. So the reason I ask you to go onto here first is because before anything, we want to type in the PMRS frequency channels. And we're going to program them 1 to 16. So all I'm going to basically do is be really boring and type the right number in. So you'll catch me when everything has been typed in. So as you can see on the left side for the channels, 1 to 3 to 16, I have typed in each of the frequencies for the PMRS radios. Now you'll notice on power it says high, but you will find that once you've saved this, it will automatically turn the power down to low because obviously for these to use it, it is illegal. So the last thing it wants to do is be sending PMRS signals at high power, hence why the radio will automatically dock it down to low once we start inputting these settings. If it doesn't, I would recommend it to put it as high. But I have found that once these settings have been uploaded onto the radio, it recognises because it's in the UK and it will basically remove them and put the power setting back to low, which is not a problem. It will still work totally fine. So as you can see, this is all blank. I'd ignore all this. This is just stuff I need to clear off, um, just as so. So the next thing we're going to do is we just want to file and save this. And we just want to save this somewhere where you'll remember it. So I'm just going to save it here. So now we've done this, the next thing we want to do is we want to take the radio that it is you're trying to communicate with. Um, ideally, if this doesn't have the same ports and it isn't programmable, then this will not work. But most of you are using motor rollers, 
Reta, Ret, Retkevis, or however you pronounce it. Um, no, we're using these kind of radios. They're all programmable, so that's no problem. So we're basically just going to do the same of what we've done. So if you haven't already, we're just going to disconnect your bow fan, and I'm going to connect my radio. So this may be very loud because this thing is ridiculously loud. So all I'm going to do is the usual stuff. Uh, sometimes you have to power it on. Sometimes you do not first. But I would just power it on, the radio on, plug in the USB cable, and then plug it into your computer. So as you can hear, it has detected it. So now all I'm going to do is go radio and download from radio. And then once again, I'm going to go to the vendor. So I know this vendor is Retivis. And then the model, for me, it is the RT619. It may be different to you. It could be Motorola. It could be anything. It, it honestly doesn't matter. Just make sure the port is correct. And then we're going to do the exact same. So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to clone. Now, this is the important bit. As you can see, these are the exact same frequencies that I import. But as you'll notice... Something is different, tone mode and tone squelch. So a lot of people are programming their PMRS, their Bofangs for the PMRS radios, but you need to match the tone squelch and the DTCS because as you can see, it's half and half. The first eight are on a tone squelch, the others are on a DTCS, different code. So you need to make sure that you input these on the correct channels. And this is what some people are missing out because obviously it's not really obvious that you need to input the tone squelch. These radios are looking for the tone squelch before they start transmitting. So you may have found that the Motorola's can communicate to the bow fan or whatever you're using, but the bow fan for some reason, it just will not communicate to these radios. And that is because they're listening for this tone. So unless they listen to the tone, they won't play the speaker sound. So we're going to memorise... All of these. So we want to take a picture on your phone, which is what I'm just going to do right now. As you can hear, I just drop the bloody thing. So just take a picture of your phone, so you can see these frequencies. So now you've got them. We can disconnect this radio and go back onto the saved image. Now, hopefully, you may need to file open it, but hopefully, we can just tap across like this, which is even better. And if that's the case, fantastic. Now, as you can see, the mode is down as NFM. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go NFM. Now, if you double-click, sometimes if when you right-click, it will ask you, pasted memory, will you overwrite? No, do not do that because it'll wipe it. You'll cry. You've got to retype it in. So, all I'm doing is just matching up with this. So, NFM. So as you can see, we have matched everything up. So I've matched the low on the power. You don't have to do this, but I'm convinced because I've done it before that the radio will automatically change the power from high to low. So as you can see, the mode, I have changed all now to NFM. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into cross mode. Now what this is going to do is this is going to be able to let us import the tone squelch. So what we want is for the first date, it needs to be TSQL. So you can either go over here and change it, or you can go into cross mode and change it. Um, it doesn't really matter. I originally did it in cross mode, but you know it'll, it's going to input it regardless. So all I'm going to do is go under, so you can see here it says, so I've clicked on it, I've clicked on this one specifically tone tone. So I'm going to click off it. Now it's going to ask me to input the tone. So what we've seen over there was 1114.8. So we're going to do. And then for the receive and transmission, both will be 1114.8. And then we're going to hit OK. And then you can see it's set that to TSQL. You're more than welcome to just go on the side and just change it as well. It makes honestly no difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input these on the first date now. Right, now let's import. You will notice that the other 8 was under a DTCS. So as you can see, we've got 026, and that's going to say NN. So all we're going to do is the exact same. You can either go to cross mode, and then we're just going to click DTS. Make sure it's both, so it's transmit and receive. It's going to ask us what number? 26, OK. And then 26, OK. 
and then it's already going to import an N4 as or we can do here change that number it's 26 and then it's just the exact same again all we're doing is nicely inputting everything DTCS change the tag of that DTCS no as you can see do not click yes because it'll wipe it DTCS and then all we're going to do the number was 26 and literally just matching them up 26 26 and 26 so as you'll find this tone is another type of tone and it's what the radio is looking out for so if you don't tell your Baofang to use this to start the communication it just the the other radios don't even know anything's talking it's like you've got a it's like having to beat the horn before it's like having to put the clutch down before you drive you can turn the key all you like but if you don't put the clutch down in the car the thing doesn't know it needs to start so as you can see we have got all of this in place now so all we're going to do is our usb so obviously we're going to disconnect the old radio from this usb the smaller radio the motorola whatever you're using uh, revetifis as you can tell my pronunciation isn't great so all i'm doing is i am right now plugging this usb back into the radio and then we're going to turn it on to 100 percent again so now this has been completed all i'm going to do is go radio and then i'm going to upload to radio then exact same usb it already saved what you did it on and i'm just going to hit okay and then okay again now this is cloning to the radio, so everything we've input is now getting uploaded to the radio. So we're going to find these channels on the channel mode. So you're just going to press the VFO slash MR channel mode. And then you will find that these frequencies will be input. So if you start talking on the Motorola, which is totally fine to do, or the Reveticist, whatever is your legal PMRS radio, you should now hear that if you marry up the channels. So now I've got my two radios here, my PMRS legal radio and my Baofang. So all I'm going to do is click the push to talk and this will light up. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. I can hear the sound totally fine. I don't think you'll be able to hear that. I don't think you'll be able to hear it. But basically, let's see if I can do it now. As you can tell, it's a bit noisy, but it is, it is basically transmitting, as you can see, because every time I click it, it is going to blow. And then you'll find vice versa. I'm not going to do it because it is illegal. I don't condone this. I'm simply telling you how to do this yourself. So I am not responsible for what you do with your radios. But yes, now, because this has been set up, you will now find that you'll be able to speak to your other radio. Now, the only thing I will say is on the menu, menu. on step, I don't know if you can see it, it says 12.5k. Just make sure that is correctly inputted. It should be automatically, but if it is not, you can just change that yourself. And if you do not know how to do this, I can always do a video on how to change it, but I'll be honest, there's a thousand and one videos on how to kind of do this kind of stuff. So that is it. So it was simple as just changing the tone squelches, but this is how to make your Baofang talk to any other PMRS 446 radio. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll hopefully see you guys for another video.